Hello, listeners. This is the NPG podcast. What haven't I been doing? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. oh man, loaded question. <laughs> well, <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Gotta go. Say, who has he been doing that? Oh boy. Did he have to that's go to the bathroom? Did he just like? <laughs> did he laugh so hard that he just crapped his pants? Ah, uh, that, that's like threw everything. <laughs> I flipped a table. Uh, I've been playing No Man's Sky. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, you said it for Brian. That was cute. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Cat, man. Did you hear him? Mm-mm. Dexter! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> uh, I guess Stay out of my lap. Oh, my lap. Thank you so Anyways, okay. So I picked up No Man's Sky uh, Friday morning. Was it? No, Thursday. Thursday afternoon after work. And I've been playing that nonstop. Um, I didn't touch aliens again. I didn't touch infamous again after that. I brought those back today mm-hmm. and no man's sky because my week with it was over. Womp womp. Oh, I thought you got two <laughs> weeks. Uh, you know what? Because some fucking idiot had to get the nerve to come in and try and reserve the copy after I was done with it. What the hell? The nerve. What a twat. So I, I I I signed up for uh, the next spot again. So two people, two more people have it for a week each, and then I get it back. That's nice. That's communism for you, folks. Yeah, there you go. Communist Canada. <laughs> In Communist Canada, game rent you. <laughs> oh, Yakov Smirnov. Yay. And my my thoughts about it um, have been mostly favorable, with a few minor gripes, uh, mainly about the inventory. Space and or lack thereof. Why are you so small? And uh, that was quickly alleviated uh, as soon as I talked to Matt, who helped me out with uh, some basic stuff. And I'm basically only picking up shit that I need. Like, if I'm going for a specific upgrade, I'm only picking up that element. And holy shit, Matt, I broke the game because I found a planet that has those graviton balls or whatever. The ones that the uh, little robot guys try to kill you after you get one? Yeah, yeah, I broke the game because I just kept, I spent like fucking four hours just running around the planet, stealing this shit and selling it. I broke it. Please tell me you saved. Damn it! Oh no, it's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, yeah I did. I saved. Yeah, there's actually uh, fun little planets like that. If you're, if you explore each planet, you'll find one with, uh, these cubes where nobody wants to kill you for. Yeah, and I found in a caves. shitload of those too. Uh, just on the ground and like in front of a, in front of a, the what the fuck? Hey guys, uh, continue talking. There's a situation I have to attend to. Oh my. That's oh, okay. He, he doesn't God, I guess my stripper gram. No, my stripper gram already got there. It's supposed huh. to be later tonight. Hmm. Oh well. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's one of the best parts. And like I was telling you about when you stack those items, you can become a millionaire easily. I am a millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Now. Oh, well, there so, you go. Well, there's, there's, there's your stripper gram. I knew it. Mm-mm. Wow, I can, I can practically feel it. Oh, wait. Won't there be, won't there be like copyright problems here or something? Shit. <laughs> We're not making any money. There's no copyright. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. We do this for free. We might as well just like not talk about anything if that's the case. No, that's unfortunate. Yeah, you know, funny enough, today at work, somebody was asking me. I was just playing some some music because that's all I do really there at work. Um, and one of the old ladies came up to me. She goes, "What decade are you from?" Like, I was playing some like '40s hits, and then I was playing some '80s rock and disco and i was just everywhere today and she was just totally confused why i knew all these bands well shit did you go away too 
I did for a moment. Sorry, I was oh, listening. Well. I, I think Disco should make a comeback. Disco Stew. No. Disco Stew doesn't advertise. <laughs> it's supposed to say Disco Stud. Hmm. Did you see that one video uh, on the subject of staying alive? Um, that one video. Fuck. What was it called? It was like Band of the Brave or something, and like it's the. Guys who were like, like walking down the street dancing. No, I have not. Oh shit. Okay. Anyway, so No Man's Sky. Yeah, I became a millionaire, and I was searching for ships, and I found one, and I spent like fucking an hour trying to find the shit to re- rebuild it and fix it because the fucking planet I was on had like negative plutonium. What? And. I fucking I finally got the ship fixed up, and then I went and I went and I landed onto a, uh, a trade station. Yeah. And some guy had like a ship that looked like uh, Spike Spiegel's Swordfish Two. Nice. Yep. So I'm like, want it? Million dollars later, it was mine. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have a Swordfish Two. How many uh, inventory slots does it get? Ah, uh, fuck! It was like eighteen, I think, and I went up from fourteen. Oh, that's gonna be gone. Oh yeah. It's not gonna last long, but it, it's nope. fun. It's fun while you have it. Yeah, and um, what the fuck else? Uh, I found a planet that was like called Clit or something like that. Like it was like a weird misspelling of Clit or something, or like K H U N T. I can't remember what it was, but it was some really funny word. All spelled funny. I'm like, this is wonderful. I need to share this, but I didn't. Mm-hmm. I saw one spelled D D O O S H. <laughs> But it had a bunch of other words after it, but that was the first part of it, so I was like, mm. Random word generators. Didn't work out the way we planned. Shit. Ronnie Deutsch. Apparently there's every planet out there is named Harambe now, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I named that one planet. I finally got off it. I found ever so slightly enough fucking plutonium uh, to fucking finally get off that rock. And I named it F this planet, no plutonium. <laughs> yeah, everybody ever goes by it to be like, nope, not happening. Nice. Back out. Mm, just oh, and also you can get Thamium Nine, that that fuel source from the asteroids. You just shoot them. not just the plants on the ground. Yeah, I figured that out. Yeah. I'm having a hell hell of a hard time finding aluminium. Aluminium. Al- aluminium. 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 And I, I I needed to fucking make my grenades hyper. <laughs> I want homing grenades, man. I want to. I want to go back to that planet with the fucking gravitinos and just like fucking homing grenade those fucking dogs because fuck them, laser dogs. Yeah, their laser dogs are mean. Have you got anything higher than laser dog? Yeah, I had a giant mech robot. Yelp. And with his laser face, I just fucking hid behind a wall and just like (laughs) lobbed grenades at him from behind the wall. It was fun. I kicked his ass. But he didn't fucking... The game screwed up, and he didn't drop anything because it didn't acknowledge he was dead, and his light was still, like, flying around in the sky. Huh. Yeah. It happens sometimes. That's weird. So your topic, while you're, you know, stroking each other's dicks off. <laughs> so that was my week in a nutshell. <laughs> stroking mess. I was hoping i nice. finish. <laughs> that was that stripper gram, Brian. How did you enjoy that? What stripper gram? The one you had to attend to. With the... With oh. The just playing? Mm-hmm. They weren't supposed to be there until midnight. Oh, well. What else did I do this week? Not a whole lot. I played that, and I did more. Oh, shit! Hang on. Yeah, there's something I have to tell you guys about. Mm -mm. I posted this on Facebook, but I have to whore it off as well, normally. Uh, A game that I am in... I haven't seen you post nothing. Because you're not not following my, my, my voice actor page. Oh, I didn't know you had voice actor page. Neither did I. <laughs> so, there is a uh, a game up on Steam Greenlight called Dreadful. It is uh, one of those first-person uh, Silent Hills-esque haunted house games. Mm. And I'm in it. And it needs your help to be greenlit. So, if we may, post the uh, Greenlight link somewhere. Uh, in the, 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 the show post. Description? Sure. Yeah, my people would be grateful. What do I get out of it? Sweet dick all. Mmm. <laughs> Tempting. <laughs> <laughs> How about a
out a copy of the game. Um, I'll see if I can get one for myself. Mm. And then give it to you. Yeah. I actually think I saw something on that today. But like, unrelated? Re- yeah. Uh, like, they were pre- somebody was previewing it, but I can't remember who it was. I posted that link. That was probably me. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, uh, it was a major, um, it was a major website. Oh, shit, eh? I'm pretty sure because it looked creepy. The only thing I can remember, if it's the same one I'm thinking of, the preview is like, like I, like this, like child or something in like red and it looks all, I don't know, like Hellraiser like. I don't know. It's, it was weird when I saw it, but I could have swore they said dreadful. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Um, anyway. Yeah, we'll do that. But dreadful. yeah, um, dreadful. Oh, Steam green me. light. Green lighted motherfuckers. Green light. I think we're at. I say we're because you know mm-hmm. me. Yeah. So fifty uh, percent on the way to the top one hundred. Cool. In a day. In a day, eh? In a day, eh? So that's uh, that's what's taking with me. Cool. So what I want to discuss. Um, is broken promises of game developers. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, and uh, Matt has some some points to add about this as well. So we'll 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 get onto his thoughts later on. Um, now specifically, people are really in a fucking bunch about No Man's Sky and the promises that they made and did not deliver on. Now, I was not really one of those people who really paid much attention to the hype. I watched the gameplay videos. I'm like, this looks really, it's really cool. Yeah, okay. In fact, Brian and I have discussed this on numerous occasions uh, prior to Matt's arrival. And we didn't really know exactly what the game, what you did in the game, but it seemed like a Minecraft style, uh, fucking Minecraft meets uh, Starbound. Great. Good for me. I enjoy the, I enjoy the look of it. And apparently if you're one of the hype followers, then you would be extremely disappointed by this game unless you're Matt. Then you'd play the game endlessly to a point where you have to sit back and say, okay. Think this is ruining my life. And then you actually clean up the house, which has been in disarray for the last three weeks. I had three cats. And now you have 18. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's only going to be more or less. I didn't know which way to go. Thank you, Steven. I know. <laughs> I wasn't sure either. It's going to take it. Just run with it. So... Now, if you are of the of the um, hype train camp where, you know, you were let by, down by this game, I feel sorry for you because I am enjoying the game. So, you know what? Good for you. Uh, it got me thinking, though, about why developers will say something is going to be in the game and then just flat out just not have it. Now, it could be one thing if it's a matter of like, well, yes, originally we wanted to put this in. However, it, it, it needs to be taken out. Then great. Say so. Or it will be added in a future update. Great. Say so. Because people base their decision to buy this game on what you tell them it is. If you're fucking like, let's go, let's take a trip back to 1995, 94, whatever. 1990 something. You see an ad in, there you go. Mortal Kombat 2. There you go. We'll take that as an example. I was going to say Chrono Trigger. But we'll do Mortal oh, Kombat okay. 2. And there you go. Say you've never been to an arcade before. You see an ad for Mortal Kombat 2. You see pictures of people getting punched in the face. You see text on the on the page in Nintendo Power telling you... Not Nintendo Power, fucking Mortal Kombat 2 was... Uh, yeah, okay, it was. Text on the page saying, Brutal fights! 18 characters! So this isn't Facebook, this is an actual arcade, this right? Isn't okay. This isn't even an arcade, this is just like in a, in, a, in a magazine. Okay, gotcha. This is your only expectation of this thing. Brutal fights, fucking fatalities, 18 characters, that's all you have. You were promised that, you're given that. So I guess maybe that's why people weren't much happier back then. Games have gotten way more complex now. And you have all of the alpha footages, the gameplay footages, <clears throat> the interviews, the... Uh, Jimmy Fallon plays this game before release, blah, 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 fucking blah. We are in a, uh, I guess you could say like a, uh, like a phase, not a phase, a, uh, a point in human evolution. Deus Ex. Deus Ex. The the human (laughs) revolution. 
uh, where if you under or if you overpromise and underliver, fuck you. You are getting death threats. Nobody's ever going to look at you again. Well, that's, I mean, I said it once, I'll say it again. That's just flat out millennial gamer entitlement. Yeah, we've gone over that numerous, yeah. numerous thousands yeah. of times. And, I mean, this obviously isn't the very first time a developer has promised something and it hasn't happened. Um, if you guys recall Aliens Colonial Marines, the uh, gameplay demo that they originally played, not quite indicative of... That's the understatement yeah. of the year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I remember getting that game. I'm like, wow, this fucking sucks. It uh, apparently didn't do very well. I didn't actually play it. There was a time when I could have bought it on a PSN sale. I'm like, I don't know, man. I heard it was pretty bad. So there's that. Um, okay. Yeah, we also have Fable. <laughs> Let's talk Fable. Let's not talk Fable. Let's talk Peter Molyneux. Let's talk, oh, yeah, let's I was talk gonna, Peter I was going to say Peter, Peter Molyneux on everything. Let's just talk Peter, Peter Meter Paul, Meter Polyneux. Yes. Okay. And then also that whole Project Natal business with... Uh, oh, shit. yeah. Like, with the kid with the fish and shit. Yeah, yeah the I fish. Remember. What the fuck happened to that? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. That was. That was very, well, that was all very smoke and mirrors, too, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, that wasn't really even a developer promise by any stretch. That was yeah. just a, a, a demo for what you could potentially do with... With the with uh fucking what the hell I'm calling it I, I never I never bought one so I didn't know what it was called anymore. Um, the the Xbox camera what is that? Connect. Connect. There you go. I never had a connect, but um, that wasn't really a promise. That's just saying this is what you could do, but they never did anyways. And nobody ever did that. Now we have a saying in the biz. Yeah, that's right. It's the biz now. <laughs> And I kind of mentioned it the other way, just reverse. Um, I mentioned it already, just in a reverse way. You underpromise and overdeliver. Now, if they showed No Man's Sky as it is right now, I think people would still be happy with it. If they just showed this, what it is, people would love it still. Because it is a really great game. It is annoying in places, absolutely. But it got more gameplay out of me than Infamous. And I love Infamous. It, fucking my wife has not even touched my PlayStation since I bought it last November. First time she ever touches it. No Man's Sky. There you go. It it it, it brings people together. And if only people would just look past the fact. Okay, yes, the developer said this. The developer said that. Obviously, it didn't make the game. You don't need to fucking send them death threats about it. Matt, do you want to retort to this, or do you want me to? No, you go right in. I, um, I'm sitting over here just melting in Steven's voice. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, oh, stop. It's like, chowder. it's like chowder. Um, it's chowder. Say it right, Frenchie. <laughs> I think what it comes down to is, no, well, I'm not going to sit here and go over the human psyche and what, what, and gamers in general and, or, you know, whatever they think they're supposed to get or whatnot. I'm just not even going to go and go down that realm. Um, and that might, and even with that though, that might be just more of what, you know, like when we were talking about television last week, right? It all comes down to because people want things and they want it now and they want it a certain way. And if it's not that, then fuck you. And unfortunately, that's just how it is. But rather, if I really want to point a finger at something, the first, and I've been thinking about this since you brought it up, uh, when we were discussing everything, um, through chat. I want to point my finger at the developers, and here's why. I point the fingers at the developers, as well as, you know, people, um, due to the fact that stop showing your fucking game five years before it comes out. Yeah. And here, and here's the reality, in case anybody doesn't know. When, when developers, publishers come up with a game concept and they start working on it, they have all the space in the world. They have gigs upon gigs of this, gigs of that, and they know they could do this, and they want to do that, and all, all that's well and great. But as the process goes along, the realization is that, hey, we only have to, we have to put this on a disc. And that's where the problem is. Like Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs premiered at E3 two or three years before it came out, and it looked like spectacular you're like right on 
And, you know, once again, this could be running on PC, too, which might p- be part of the other problem. Um, but then the actual game came out. I was like, this looks nothing like what we were shown at all. And that's because th- the resolution had to be knocked down. Why? So it can fit on a disc to play in your PlayStation or your Xbox. And that's the reality of it. The problem with that is that most people don't realize that, and it's the developer's job or part of their marketing to, even if they don't flat out say this is what's going on, they have, they have a, they have, I'm not going to say it. They're not entitled, but they should show what it's looking like. And in a lot of cases, that's not the case. They'll, you know, um, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. That's just kind of what it is. Same thing with Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux is probably a great guy in actuality, and he has a lot of great ideas. But the problem is, is that those ideas don't come into fruition because things conflict eventually sometimes. And it just doesn't work out. So to your point, yes, um, people, uh, you know, should look into it a little bit deeper before they buy. Uh, people should probably wait for reviews if they're really, you know, if, if they want to. Uh, give them give them a better idea. That's why I haven't bought No Man's Sky. That's I'm why more, I didn't. you know, and, and also it, not money because I didn't have money for it. Yeah, well, that too. Um, so people are people, but there's also people out there that are willing to understand if you give them the opportunity to. And if you don't do that and you under overpromise, under deliver, then yes, people are going to be pissed off. So I'm not. And once again. Publishers, developers, make the game you want to make. Don't cater to anybody else except for what your vision is. But you, the problem is, is that you have to relay that vision. Now, with No Man's Sky, that was part of the problem for me. And it's even right there on freaking video and on a Stephen Colbert show where Sean Murray's like, "Yeah, yeah, this can happen," and clearly it hasn't, from what I understand. So, I, I would like to say that we can. We can hope the same thing for Watch Dogs 2, that they show us something and hopefully it comes out nothing like what they've shown. <laughs> but I digress. The thing about uh, indie developers, like uh, like small-time developers, like the kind that I, I find myself working with a lot, is that their games usually start out very, very basic looking, and then they can only get better because they're very upfront about what they're offering right. and why you need to get excited about it. Minecraft. Now, to that end, I mean, No Man's Sky is kind of an indie thing situation still, too, right? Mm-hmm. Now, how, how the hell did that get so out of proportion? Like, I, yes, okay, they had to have known what their limitations are, even if so they have those unlimited me. gigabytes. But see, I don't know, though, because at the time, there was no there was no plan for it to even be on disc. That's true. So, you know what I mean? So, like... I'm just wondering, and once again, I don't know. It might not be true at all. I'm just wondering if, like, Sean Murray is like, oh, yeah, we got some Sony backing here, and we have, you know, we're on disc, so we can do this, and we can do that, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't realize what that limitation was, right? And then it's just like, oh, and then, and I guarantee you, some a couple of the delays had to be like, um, so, yeah, that's not going to work right now. <laughs> and then they had to cut back. And you have that delay, and fucking people got pissed off about it. Yeah. No, you're right. Once again, people are people. I can't sit here and, you know, I'm not, I can't, no one can. And be like, what the fuck's your problem? But I do think that there is a responsibility with the developer slash publisher. That doesn't happen. No. I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never been lied to by a developer. Of course. bought their game. I mean, but why are people, oh, never mind. I'm not going to go into that. People are acting like, it's the first time this has ever happened. Um, and I, I did finally, or I saw a while back, the uh, list of all the lies. And the one that really did kind of get me down was where somebody asked him, why are you on this planet again? And he says, oh, uh, it's just because it's a pretty planet. That's all. And it's not, with with the things going on in the game, that's not saying that it's going on in the game now. Mm-hmm. But this is an indie game where they can keep putting in all the time and effort that they want to until they go bankrupt and die. Um, but they could eventually make it look like the way that it was originally portrayed. Well, I mean, this game too could be, 
and well, a lot of people don't understand or understand what you know patches are or whatever like that. This game could be what people want it to be within a year. You know, it's kind of like if, if they can add all the stuff in after the fact that they couldn't fit on a disc. Well, it's like you know, it's like Destiny. Gradual updates. Destiny. I don't know why people bothered to review Destiny when they knew what kind of when even reviewers knew what kind of game was going to be. Destiny got better along the way, at least in my opinion. A lot of other people's opinion. Now, there's some people that don't like Destiny. That's fine. Um, but it's just one, one of those things. Like World of Warcraft. It's like okay, it, they're adding on to it all the freaking time. Yeah, I understand that vanilla Destiny was like, un, like indistinguishable from what it is right now. Like the well, the not the uh, the last the expansion. Oh my god, that was so much better. I was like, thank you. And hopefully, Destiny Two, whenever that comes out, they'll learn from that and you know make a kick-ass game. Um, and I and I just think No Man's Sky has the potential of doing that, where people are just like, oh, you know, word of mouth will come back out. I was like, they're actually it's actually better than what it was, and then people will go back to it. Maybe who knows. Um, but first, they need to return all the copies so that I can yeah. buy it for really cheap. Yeah, exactly. There you yeah. go. And then GameStop has and, an overabundance. And that that's unfortunately likely to happen. But that also means that it'll take longer for anything to actually get done. But whatever. That's true. Know. If they have to lose a bunch of money off it, like they, they can't really recoup what they lost if everybody's taking right. a refund. How come, how come people weren't this fucking mad about that um, game that I can't remember the name of? <laughs> that that uh, you'll, you'll remember what I'm talking about. There's that one game. It was like it was kind of Elder Scrolls esque. Two worlds. That's it. Yep. That was it. Two worlds where there's people getting paid big money to write false ten star or you know ten out of ten reviews. Whereas when the game actually came out, it was shite. I gotta say, I there's was like, actually one of those people. I used to get paid. There's like, that. did you actually get paid? Did they pay you money? Not for that game, but just in general, like oh. reviewers. Do they pay you money to lie? They pay me money to fucking lie on video, to write reviews and shit. Wait a minute, how did this happen? I I need to know more. Never mind, I'll tell you guys later. Uh, All right. (laughs) Not on the air. God damn it. Okay. Got it. If you want to edit edit this part, then I can tell you guys right now. No, it's fine. You can wait. All right. But uh, people people get so mad about this, this game in particular, and I find that very strange, whereas... Watchdogs, I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like it was so bad it was nipped in the bud early. Because I remember, I remember a certain somebody, a certain store manager, who uh, broke code and opened up a copy the day before and played it in the store. And he was like, "Holy shit, this is bad. Mm-hmm. This is really bad. I can't sell this." And so we warned everybody we could. So maybe it was an isolated thing for us, and we didn't have. We weren't using Facebook back then, and could see everybody's eye for you the game. Watch Dogs or Two Worlds? Two Worlds. Okay, just making sure. All right. Two yeah, I thought you mentioned Watch Dogs. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't think. I'm sorry if I did. Yeah, I am. I have. I have been drinking. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what game I'm playing right now. <laughs> the game of life. Oh, I Bam. failed. <laughs> lost. Epic fail. But lost do, the game. I guess. I guess the only thing I really wanted to tag on was Stevens is do these people have a right to get their money back for false we... promises? Is it, is it at that extent where, where they deserve to have money back? Uh, my, my only, my only reasoning for saying no is because this is an indie game and it's saying that promises are normally a long-term investment. They just always have been. Not always, but a lot of the time they're a long-term investment. Um, I'm going to say no as well, because regardless of promises and all that, there's still the, you know, I don't know, wait a fucking week. You know what I mean? Wait until you hear other people say something about, read some reviews, do this, do that. I don't go to a movie, and even if I don't like the movie, I don't demand my money back. But no, you can just like go on eBay and buy a copy a week early for a thousand dollars to tell everybody how, how bad it is. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is strange. <laughs> like people who like people who return books at Barnes and Noble just blew my mind. It's like, yeah, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It's a it's a freaking book. 
<laughs> you probably read the whole thing. And I, just... I know. Well, that's probably what happened. Like, yeah, I just didn't like it. Bullshit. You probably read it. Same thing that with that guy you were talking about who wanted to return it after playing it for 50 hours. Go fuck yourself. I'm like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, no. <laughs> like, I don't I have 50 hours 50 in it. 50 hours and says, oh, I'm bored. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. when you spend that much, time, that much time in excess with one game, yeah, you might get bored. I played Elder Scrolls for two days straight. I'm like, you know what? I should probably take a break because I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> anyway. And that's where we but are. You, as a but you now. wanted to. Oh, I did later. Yeah, I, mean, I I can joke around, kind of that that was the game that would have gotten me a divorce. Yes, joke. No, you weren't you weren't kidding. She she would come into the store and and berate you for neglecting your child. And no, she did not. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but she does. She always has that look on her face. And I say, hey, like 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 an Elder Scrolls or Fallout game comes out, she just like kind of rolls her eyes. Like, great. I guess I'll see you in like a month. <laughs> No, yeah. it's not that dramatic. Calm down. No, it it was for me with Fallout, and thankfully my uh, my girlfriend was very um, accepting of it. Well, that's good. No, it wasn't. What game did you say it was that had the false reviews? Two Worlds. Oh, that's what. Sorry, I don't know why I thought it was Two Human. I was like, Two Human was amazing. Two Human. Brian, awesome. you're the one other person that likes that game with me. Mm-hmm. I like Two Human. Oh yeah, Two Human. Yeah, that that was another one of those ones. God damn it, that game was awesome. 